Hello everyone, my name is Christian Legulescu and today we'll talk about the security inside of the Salesforce uh, Lightning Connector from UiPath. So first, download the um, connector for Salesforce Lightning platform from UiPath Go. Then after you install it on, um, uh, on UiPath Studio, you'll find it under UiPath Team Salesforce Lightning platform. And we'll drag and drop a Salesforce application scope and we'll see what we have to configure here. So for the configuration here, you have an authentication for the design mode, authentication for the production, a selection of the environment, if you want an environment that you want to design and test, or you want an environment for production. And also you have the server type. It's if it's a test server or a sandbox or a live server. Okay, so to work on the design type, you will select the um, design and test. And here, on the on the user and password, you'll put uh, strings, yeah, like this: user, password, and so on. Yeah, and working in this way, you'll be able to use all the wizards, uh, the live wizards uh, inside of the um, uh, the UiPath Studio. So you'll start, and you have a full new wizard you can run. To copy. You have all the all the things. Now, to be able to go to production, to have everything secured you will switch from here, from the design time to production. Probably you'll go to live. Yeah, and you'll put the variables here. And I'll show you how you configure the variables here. Okay, let's see what we have here. So I configured this one to be in production. Let's see it. So it's for production. So I complete all the data from production. Now, on the data from production, you have security, password, and secret. All are secure string, yeah? To get this data. In my example, I take the data from credentials from the PC. You can take it also from the orchestrator. If you take it from the credentials from PC, you will use get secure credential. And on this get secure credential, I extract the key and the secret. I extract the token, and I extract also the username and the password. If you want to take it from the orchestrator, you will get it with using get credentials from the orchestrator. So in this way, everything will be highly secured and everything will be okay for production. So remember, for the design of the product, you will use the sandbox and you put everything on the design mode. And when you move to production, everything will be secured and you move to the production environment. Now, let's talk about another subject of security. Okay, in the second part of the of the security move, you will talk about the configuration of the user on the Salesforce level. So let's see what we have here on the on, on the on the process. So I read some data from Excel, and then with the wizard I put the data as an account. Yeah, so everything is protected and so on and so on. In the end, here you see that I have the system can output. If the, the comment, that comment is valid, and I have also the response from the server, yeah? So when I send that comment, I can get the response, and I can get if this is valid. So what we'll do? We will do, we'll take these two accounts, and we'll add these two accounts on our cell phone. So it's first, comp uh, first corporation and second corporation. But be careful. First account is a customer, the other is a prospect, yeah? So let's add this account. Let's check that in our Salesforce, you, don't, you see that we don't have the first corporation and, and second corporation. Let's run the process and let's see what's happened. So the, sales, uh, the, um, the UiPad system is configured with my user. And here, as a log, he will write the result. Yeah? So first, he will, add the, uh, um, he will add the first corporation with a good result. And the second one, it's invalid because the record type is not valid for my user. What does this mean? So, because my my user is limited, my user is able just to create accounts that are customers. Is not able to create accounts as a prospector. Prospect, yeah. So, because the configuration of the user in Salesforce, I my command will be not validated. So you have to remember something very important. All the comments that are sent from UiPath Studio with these activities to the Salesforce are working via REST API. And the REST API 
it's following all the business rules and all the validation rules that you configure for the user that you use. So if your user is not allowed to do something, he's not allowed to work on account, you're not allowed to work on something, you can go and hit submit and you receive an error on the web page. The same way you receive an error over the robot. Salesforce has a very, very powerful REST API um, protocol. And that's why the security about the segregation of duty of the accounts, it's respected also via the REST API. When you put a user here to configure a user, you will have all the limitation of that users uh, also inside of the UAPath Studio. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good one.